Uh, we found two people um, possibly dead. Uh, there's blood everywhere. That 911 call coming in just before 2 a.m. Sunday morning from a passerby who saw the bodies of 48-year-old Terry Altman and 55-year-old Brenda Altman. They were lying on the ground at the corner of Wild Olive and Riverview. The couple had been stabbed to death. Their bicycles found nearby. According to neighbors and social media, the couple had been hanging out at a bar on Main Street and were riding their bikes back home to the 300 block of Boylston Avenue. The two were murdered just one mile from their home. The couple's neighbors still in disbelief. A little shaky. You know, I mean, it, I, I'm, I, I cannot believe that something like that happened here. And he was a responsible guy. They even took bicycles because yeah. he was drinking. Yeah. Left their car, left his motorcycle here, left their car, left their truck here. And it was just a real shame what happened to him, you know. Jesse Dillon lives next door to the Altmans. He said the couple had just purchased their home six months ago and they were beyond happy. They walked to the beach every day. It was like their dream house. Yeah. You know, they bought bicycles. They just bought a Jeep. They were really loving it. They loved the neighborhood. And the neighborhood loved them. Many describe the couple as the kind of neighbors that always wanted to do for those around them. Oh, yeah, real friendly. They're probably two of the best neighbors you can want. Yeah. Always friendly. I mean, he, he even trimmed all my trees. There. He was just, you know, best neighbors I have had, you know. They were very nice people, very friendly. Yeah. I, I just, um, it's unbelievable, I, especially a cause of death like that. Brenda Altman's daughter says that she is also very saddened by what occurred. She says she is heartbroken right now. Her mother, Brenda, was her best friend, and her stepfather was such a wonderful man. Now, according to Daytona Beach Police, they do have a person of interest in this case. They are looking for someone of unknown race who was last seen wearing light-colored pants and a backpack. Reporting in Volusia County, I'm Luana Munoz, WESH 2 News. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.